brave new world on Europe's eastern border. Turkey, regional powerhouse, a hub for energy, tourism and manufacturing. Some say a western-leaning country of moderate Islam, putting demons like the era of military rule behind it. But for others in this nation of 75 million people, old demons have been replaced by new ones. A leaning towards authoritarianism, suppression of the media, control of the judiciary, all no-go areas for the European Parliament, which in May is debating progress on accession. De cette dernière 13 années, la, la jeunesse a cassé toutes les frontières entre les clivages politiques pour être les Kurdes, les lesbiennes, les gays, les musulmans, les laïcs, tous ensemble. This was a Turkish take on the Arab Spring, starting as a protest à against plans to bulldoze a popular green tout. space, morphing into a protest against the rule of President Tayyip Erdogan. Mais... Like the Arab Spring, social Pour media played no small part. Vital. Le rôle essentiel, vital, parce que ils s'envoyaient des messages. C'était un peu le cache-cache entre le chat et la, et, la, et la souris. Et pour deux mois, c'est les souris qui ont gagné. Events in the past two years, says Mine, now call into question Turkey's accession process. Si aujourd'hui vous me posez la question, est-ce que la Turquie a sa place dans l'Union européenne Je vous dirai non. Il ne faut surtout pas prendre la Turquie avec ce régime. I put some of these criticisms to Turkey's ambassador to the EU. Turkey has made much progress, and uh, people should not look at some isolated incidents. They should look at the big picture. Freedom of speech, uh, the rights that we've given to the Kurdish people. We should see that we are wanted, and that we have to make certain developments, some, some progress. But in the end, if we do so, then we'll be as a member. What we're hearing at times is that even if we do all that, we won't be members. In Istanbul, Cumhuriyet is heavily protected. They've received threats to their safety and the economic welfare of the paper for its opposition stance, most recently against a new homeland security law that would give the police sweeping powers of arrest, search and detention. But its editors fear the EU accession process is in jeopardy for other reasons. Avrupa'nın özellikle e, dinsel sebeplerle, başka kimlikler sebebiyle Türkiye'yi bir gün içine alacağına da inanmıyorum, inanmıyorum ve Sarkozy'nin eski Fransız e, Cumhurbaşkanı'nın dediği gibi belki bir e, farklı bir statüde Türkiye'nin Avrupa Birliği ile birlikte olacağını düşünüyorum. Şimdi Türkiye'deki halklar e, bu anlamda Avrupa Birliği'ne karşı bir kırgınlık, bir yılgınlık yaşıyorlar. Another problem on Turkey's and Europe's shoulders is the G word. The genocide, killing or forced relocation, depending on your take, of up to 1.5 million minority Armenians by the Ottomans in 1915. Turkey refuses to use the word. Others in Europe, including Pope Francis and the European Parliament, have. On the day of the centenary, Cumhuriyet surprised readers, splashing the headline, huge catastrophe in Armenian. Soykırım kelimesinin bir e, tıkanma noktası olduğu kesin. Hem halk e, nezdinde hem de e, hükümetler değişse de devlet nezdinde. Into this soup comes the Kurdish question. President Erdogan has won praise like none of his predecessors for launching a peace process with nationalists. The EU is recognized as having pushed the process along, but according to Kurdish leaders, not nearly enough. Aslında Avrupa Birliği üzerine düşen rolü yeterince oynamadı. Eğer, eğer Avrupa Birliği bütün bu süreç boyunca üzerine düşen rolü oynayabilmiş olsaydı bence süreç daha hızlı bir şekilde ilerleyebilirdi. He's a supporter of EU accession. Europe needs Turkey and Turkey needs Europe he says, but both need the Kurds. Kürt halkı bugün dünyanın en tehlikeli örgütüne, IŞİD'e karşı, Ertaydi ve benzeri örgütlere karşı çok büyük bir ölüm kalın insanlık mücadelesi veriyor. Kürtler dünya için, Avrupa için bir tehlike değil, tam tersine güvenlik ortalığı için güvenlik süpalı, güvenlik adasıdır.
Back in Brussels, the lead author of Parliament's report on Turkey's progress update has to pick a balanced pathway through all of this. Turkey has made huge steps, huge leaps. When you see also in terms of media, if you compare it over a period of 15 years, Turkey has done tremendous step forwards. If you though look over the last year, we see a backlash. You also see unfortunately too often still an interference by politicians into the judiciary. A slightly different emphasis from one of the report's co-authors. Turkey is, uh, sits in a very key strategic position and has been um, a NATO ally for over 50 years and we need to ensure that Turkey remains firmly in the Western democratic camp. Add to that, says Turkey's ambassador to the EU, his country's reception of around 2 million mostly Syrian refugees. But he adds, the key issue for accession lies west, not east. We have, we to, have resolve to resolve a major, a major issue, issue, which is the Cyprus, Cyprus problem. problem. If we do if that, we do that then, then all of the all chapters, of the chapters will, be will be open. Big issues then confronting a country in the throes of transformation and transition. It's election season right now. Everyone expects President Erdogan's party to win comfortably. But political changes are afoot in Turkey's next parliamentary term. European politicians are hoping they'll be able to have an influence on those.